this is how uh, their progress as far as uh, the road to the uh, final is concerned and you can see here uh, the way uh, she's beaten up uh, Okota versus uh, Wada beating her then uh, of course Mary Comb uh, beating uh, Kim in the uh, semi-final and they face each other now in this women's light uh, weight category really ele electrifying atmosphere the crowds have really built in uh, supporters from both the sides from Ukraine as well as India and they have come in large numbers uh, the Kiri Yadav Stadium packed to the rafters at the moment let's join Patrick once again so the wait is over it's time for our first contest of the evening this is the 2018 IBA Women's World Boxing Championships light flyweight final with a weight limit of 48 kilograms. It is bout number 258 on the program. Your referee in charge of the action in the ring is from Romania, Miss Ramona Kobzak, and the judges ringside from Egypt, Trinidad and Tobago, England, China, and Cuba. So let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner and representing the Ukraine, please welcome Hannah Okota. Yes, Hannah Okota. Well, she's young, she's fearless, and she's got challenge in front of her in the form of MC Maricom. But she's really done well. She's uh, performed well. She knows it's not going to be easy against MC Maricom, the experience she possesses. But she has, uh, she mentioned she has plans against her, uh, walking in, looking very confident, the boxer from Ukraine. In the red corner as well, uh, she'll be Hannah Kota. And she knows uh, it's going to be a big challenge, it's going to be a mouth-watering clash. The first one, the first bout here. And her opponent about to make her way to the ring. She'll be fighting out of the blue corner. And she represents India. It's MC Mary Cole. Well, you can hear the cheer. You can hear the cheer at 35. She's on course for a historic sixth gold medal. Can she do it again? A true legend, an icon, an inspiration for many people. Mary Com and uh, well she has been of course a five-time world amateur boxing champion got the Olympic medal of bronze in London in 2012 and it's been uh, a great journey for her 2002 is when she got the first gold medal of course then in 2005 then in 2006 at Delhi 2008 then 2010 in Bristol uh, but now she's all in redness here and you can hear the cheer as well what an atmosphere Patrick RJ, you've seen some sporting atmospheres in India, I'm sure. Obviously, the cricket, they can go crazy, but this is something special. It is absolutely packed to the rafters here, not a spare seat to be had. Are we about to witness history? Can Mary Com make it a magnificent six? Absolutely, and remember, you know, it's it's been a great journey for her. The way she has really progressed over a period of time. She, a lot of uh, people have come... Uh, to avoid this clash, this bout. Great to see so many people from the Ukraine here cheering their boxer on as well. Mary Com has carried the weight of women's sport in India on her shoulders for the best part of 20 years. Can she cross one more bridge to win world title number six? Every fight she's had at these championships has been progressively harder and harder. She managed to get past the North Korean Kim in a semi-final. Listen to this atmosphere. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And the start as well. The start of the first round. Mary Com in blue for India. Hannah Rakota in red from the Ukraine. A cagey start from both fighters. Mary Com, look at the speed of the hands. And there goes the right hand tagging the Ukrainian early. But we've seen that Hannah Rakota has got gears. She's gone through gears consistently through this championship. It's Mary Com's biggest test to date. In Delhi in 2018, of that there is no doubt, the stakes could not be any higher. Absolutely, first round at times you just gauge, uh, you just gauge the open end. But just see that, a few punches there from Mericom to start with, the first round. Mericom, a little bit more laid back than usual, not as sprightly on her feet. To be fair, Hannah Rakota looks comfortable to stand there and trade as well. It's Mericom's movement that always impresses the judges, look at that right jab, smack bang on the button. That impacted the nose of Hannah Rakota. The Ukrainian would have felt that. Mary Com at the moment 
seems to be in cruise control, but you cannot take anything for granted. You heard me speaking to Pat Fiaco. Three three-minute rounds, one mistake could be crucial. Very difficult to make up ground that you lose in these fights. And again, Mary comes, stands there. She used her head movement. I'm not sure how to go. They got her. A nice two-punch combination from the Indian. Absolutely. I think she's really using those combinations uh, very nicely at the moment. The way she's guarding herself, the way the defense as well. Once again, just uh, using that uh, right fist uh, to very good effect. Hannah Rakota at the moment is very wary. You can see the respect she's showing Mary Com. She's very reluctant to come in at close quarters. On the evidence of what we've seen so far, it's the Indian that has just the quicker hands. I'm surprised they're both fight fighting a little bit flat-footed. Not as much movement as we've seen from either of them. But Mary Com here just looks very comfortable. That was a dangerous left from the Ukrainian coming in as we're approaching the minute to go mark in the first round. That was a good shot from Akota. Good work from the Ukrainian at the end of round one. Yeah, just about uh, one uh, minute left now in this uh, round one. Looking for the sixth world title and will help her break the tie with Ireland's Katie Taylor. Mary Com, if she wins this one. Nice work from Mary Com. She just looks so casual. She's just a natural. Speaking to Rafael Bergamasco, the Italian coach, about her through these championships. You know, I keep asking him, is Manisha the next Mary Com? Is Sonia the next Mary Com? He, he says there'll never be another Mary Com. Those girls are going to be excellent, and I'm sure they go on and win gold medals at various championships. But Mary Com is a once in a lifetime athlete that India have and enjoy her while she's still here because at 35, if I was there, I'd win this gold and retire. Oh, they both wrestle to the ground there. Our referee from Romania will bring them both up to their feet. Yeah, just once again, uh, just having a word as well. Everything is okay, just checking there. The five-time world amateur boxing champion, Mary Com, the magnificent Mary is Mary Com. And a Rakota just only in the middle of the ring towards the end of this first round. Final three seconds, good work from the Indian, but Akota does a good job of covering up and replies with a left of her own. An enthralling first three minutes of action. Did Mary Com do enough to win that? If it was a win for either, well, it has to be a win for either. It surely was only 10 9 either way, which means this contest still very much alive. And I can also tell you, Arja, having been in that ring at the start of the show, it is red hot in there. Obviously, the stadium is packed, the aircon doing its best, but those fighters are perspiring greatly. Absolutely, and they go through the grind as well. You can see uh, this uh, clinging there, but uh, very calm, uh, definitely delivering a few good punches, a few good uh, jabs as well early on. That was uh, very important for her to start with. You can see some of the work. That's where Mary, I think, just had the arm around the neck and she almost came down. Don't think, well, there wasn't a warning. She had a chat with both of them. Those shots from Mary Con won't be scoring shots. With Hannah Rakota doing a good job of covering up with her hands. The crowd here looking at it anxiously. Rafa Bergamasco screaming out instructions to Mary. She still looks calm and confident. She's got six minutes now between her and Destiny. Can she steal this third round as well? The start of the uh, second round, definitely the crowd backing out. There's a lot of chant, Mary, Mary, all around. And, uh, well, uh, she's been an icon, isn't it? A true legend. Again, now you can see Mary come a little bit more on her toes in this second round. Interesting to see if she plans to fight an interesting tactical battle. There she is, she goes with that powerful right coming through. Rafa Bergamasco has been masterful with the tactics and instructions given to his boxers at these championships. Mary come again with that right coming forward. Really mixing uh, very nicely those combinations, those left and rights. Uh, Mary come also defends the way she's just assessing, going back at times and once again attacking. Really mixing up beautifully at the moment. Nice work from Mary Com. She landed a couple and got out of dodge and that rattled her coat as you could see. She was angry with herself there for allowing herself to be tagged. There's the view from the coach's bench where Rafa Bergamasco shifts in. Tamar Ali and others are all in Mary Com's corner. Well, you can see the feet movement as well. Uh, she's uh, so nimble-footed. And, of course, that expected in this uh, category. Just clinging there, Rob. Uh, a bit of uh, different uh, ploy here as far as uh, Okota is concerned. In this uh, round especially, she's uh, looking to attack much more as compared to the first round. Again, Akota, that attempted right, just blocked. She managed to get one through there, though. Mary Com has got to be careful. Mary Com, very confident. She's happy to stand in front of Akota, who clearly has supporters of her own here, but the Indians massively outnumbering the Ukrainians and the chant of Mary. Mary strikes up almost every other minute here. 
Yeah, Maricom recently, you know, in the uh, Silicon Open in Poland, she beat uh, Okota only this year. And she said that in the interview as well, didn't she? On the semi final, she mentioned that, but again, great for her confidence. But the other flip side is that Okota knows more about Maricom now. And We've seen it. I mean, even yesterday when we were commentating on the semi-finals, the second batch of semi-finals, it's so difficult to second-guess the judges. Some of the outcomes have seen us raise our eyebrows. You just never know. You've got to try and take it out of the judges' hands by being absolutely and thoroughly dominant. Absolutely. The punches have to uh, ride in the right areas. Uh, the knuckle as well. The knuckle has to be uh, landing out there. So where is landing up above the bent line? That's also important. So many factors attribute to a decision that goes in uh, a particular boxer's favour or not. Oh, Mary Conn with a the slip there. Hannah Okocha, I think, was asking for a knockdown, but it's ruled a slip. Still, that's the second time that Mary's been on the canvas. That was a lovely right from Com. That was the perfect response to that little stutter previously. And the final seconds of round two ended a bright spot for Com, and they touched gloves. I don't think Okocha's too happy there, complaining, I think, about maybe Mary Com coming forward with the head. She matters not. Rafael Bergamasco goes to work. A fascinating second round in the books. Absolutely. RJ. Very intriguing. Uh, just see, uh, well, uh, she was more attacking uh, as compared to the first round of Kota. But uh, just slipping a bit uh, in the uh, latter half of that uh, round. And then uh, just finishing in style, uh, Mary Com. But really, it was absolutely absorbing. Some, uh, great boxing from uh, these both boxers from India and Ukraine. A really... Uh, Absolutely. Just that slip uh, by Mary Com, but she recovered really well. Sharp stuff for Mary Com, but you can tell now, you can sense it in this arena, can't you, RJ? Everyone's a little nervy, because I think a big round for either of these fighters could still swing it the other way. They need to raise their voices. A packed KD Yada Stadium, the third and final round. Is Mary Com three minutes from destiny in a place? In the history books for India. Well, will she be taking over, taking KD Taylor? Well, only time will tell. And this round, as you mentioned, Patrick, could be decisive. This could be the round for both these boxers. Nice right jab from Mary Com. This is where she's excelled, you know. This is where all her years of experience come in handy. She won't be phased, whereas the younger Hannah Okota might be tempted into being reckless look at that combination for mary com and those are the two shots that seal gold it was sensational quick hands this is mary com at her absolute best she's looking to the referee for some assistance there and all of a sudden anna rakot has made mary com i think a bit angry absolutely i think she's done really well in the first uh, minute of this third round she's dominated a few good punches as well and uh, that could be the separating point between the two Nice right hand again, manages to contact. I think Mary Com is doing the business in this third round. Is she bringing home gold for India at these 2018 Women's World Boxing Championships? Now she's more sprightly on her feet. A coach, you get the impression, knows she needs to do more now, and that could work in Mary Com's favour. It's been getting a little bit niggly. They're both warned about the head, leading with the head. Mary Com now dancing around the ring, then coming forward. She's got Anna Okota at this. I think she's done enough, unless Okota can come up with something special. But I, I've been about 30% correct with my predictions from the second test of judges at these championships, so I don't want to tempt fate. But Mary Com is coming on strong in round number three. A wild right misses. Yeah, seems like, Patrick, as you mentioned, I think this round she's done really well. She's uh, been uh, absolutely dominant, uh, Mary Com's good uh, few punches as well from her and she deliver something up other way around here as far as uh, Hannah is concerned Mary Com just making sure in these final 40 seconds she's not on the receiving end of any big shots from Akota because surely Akota knows she's going to try and land this suits Mary Com now if she can just Dance around the ring and stay out of dodge, and even better if she can land some shots of her own. Yeah, I think uh, this is, has been the ploy because she attacked earlier on, not just on the defensive, just moving back, just dodging a bit. That guard has been uh, absolutely brilliant from her. The defense as well, and time running away for uh, Okata. Really, it's going to be difficult now for Hannah Okata.
to come back. Uh, not too much time left. Mary Crom, final seconds. And Hannah Rakota, oh, I don't think Mary Crom knew the bell. Hannah Rakota thinks she's won this. This is going to be a nervous wait. Millions across India with bated breath as we go to the judges' scorecards. Yeah, actually looked uh, pretty confident in the end, but uh, really to start with, Mary Crom uh, delivering some very good punches left and right. And in the end, of course, it was uh, a bit defensive. Just see those blows early on. Those lovely combinations uh, from Mary Com. Akota, well, has she done enough? That's a big question now. In the end, uh, just uh, on the defensive, just moving back a bit, uh, Mary Com. But the combinations are really good from her in the uh, third round from uh, the Indian legend. Waiting for the decision now. After three rounds of boxing and a tremendous display from both athletes, we go to the judges' scorecard. The winner. Gold medalist and 2018 IBA Women's World Boxing Champion at the light flyweight division is by unanimous points decision in the blue corner representing India is Mericom. So that's a goal for Mericom. She's done it once again and created history. She's up. Uh, broken the tie between uh, her and Katie Taylor from Ireland and everybody here at the Kiri Jadav Stadium on the feet. What a legend she has been. Truly an icon and inspiration for many people and she's done it once again. The sixth gold medal for Mary Com in the World Amateur Boxing Championship. So she's uh, created history here, MC Mary Com. The magnificent Mary, as they call her, and it's been absolutely brilliant, sensational. And it looked very obvious the way she started the third round. She really dominated, did everything right. MC Mary come, and it's been absolutely brilliant. And everybody who's come here, watching all over the world, well, she's uh, really done what they wanted. All the fans of MC Mary come would be delighted. What a true legend she has been. She is uh, definitely the pride of India. MC Mericom and the sixth world amateur boxing champion. Shape for her. Absolutely brilliant. She's taken uh, women's boxing to a different level, to another level. Remember, she beat uh, Mi Hyang Kim of North Korea in the semi final and today beating uh, Hana Kota of Ukraine. Ajay Singh, uh, the president of the Indian uh, Boxing Federation, really in tears and very calm. But what an effort it has been from her. At the age of 35, she's once again done uh, a remarkable job. It was a clash for the gold, for the summit, and she's achieved that. With all her experience, she really reads the opponent so well. The crowds uh, from the very beginning have been cheering uh, Mary Mary to start with. And she hasn't disappointed anybody at all, MC Mary Com. Remember earlier as well, uh, this year in Poland, she beat Okata. And uh, she's done that again this time. But this time, of course, at a different uh, platform altogether at the World Boxing Championship. The Indian flag uh, flying high and once again MC Mericom has done everyone proud. What an effort from her. It looked very uh, decisive that third round was going to be very important. But I think what uh, Mericom did so well was uh, attacking initially some very good combinations from her delivering uh, the right punches and let's join Patrick oh. once again I tell you what Mary Combs almost got me at it how unprofessional of me she's making me shed a tear Mary how emotional are you feeling right now well take a minute it's first, okay first of all I would like to thank 
my fans. They came too away. Especially, especially for me and other Indian contingent to cheer, cheering for us. Well, well today I, I was a little bit emotional because since last many years, I will, I, I will not able to fight in for 48 category because there is no weight category in uh, Olympic Games. And uh, I have to jump in the other category. <laughs> and for the effort was again, it's very challenging for me as well. And through, because of your love and support, through I able to qualify for the 2020. Well, the Rio was I will not able to qualify. Still, the category is not in the Olympic Games. I'm still in. I'm still suffering, actually. From, the, from making the weight? Yes. Again, here, 48 category, through I can give you easily for, uh, uh, easily a gold medal in the Olympic Games, but a little bit difficult for 51, because the uh, height advantage, there are so many categories has come down in the 51 also. You don't need to explain yourself or apologize to anybody here. You, I mean, I've never known a sportswoman like this in I India or any other country. So, so listen, I mean, I, I, again, I, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Nothing you say now is going to be taken as red because you are quite emotional. But is, is 2020 still the aim? I mean, at 35 years of age, you have done what no other woman has done. Eight years after your last world title, you've won a six. You've now got the world record out right. You know, owe nobody anything. Are you still thinking about 2020, or is it in your mind maybe to go out in this incredible high? I mean, look at this atmosphere. You will never, ever beat it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. I cannot give you back. I don't have anything. Only what I can give you, that is the goal for uh, for our country. So is Tokyo, again, if you don't want to answer it, you don't have to answer it, but is Tokyo still in your mind? It's in my mind, well, yes. So I'm still dreaming that uh, I've already win a bronze medal in 2012, but still I'm, as an athlete, as a boxer in my discipline, once I want to be win a gold medal for the nation, but I'm still in trouble and... Listen, you're going to take your time. You don't need to make any rush decisions. It's an incredibly emotional moment. Must I will try my best. Right? You always try yeah, your I'm best. Still, uh, and by the way, your best is usually good enough. You've packed out the KD Yadav, a six-time world champion. Your team all here, all the team, including Rafa Bergamasco. Listen, I can't leave the last word to me. I want to leave the last word to, uh, word to the six-time champion of the world, Mary Con. One last word for all your fans. Six-time world champion, Mary Com, and she's done everyone up. proud, really, a true legend. She was emotional. You can understand why and what a feat it has been after 18 years as well. When she got that first gold in the world championship, she's uh, got a six now. The next bout coming up, that's the second bout of the uh, evening. Zena Sakagova versus uh, Chol Mi Pang of North Korea. We'll take a short break and come back very quickly.